Hello everyone, this is just a quick tutorial to show you how to do a countdown timer for New Year's or any other event in Quick Show. I'm Adam Rao with Xlaser. The equipment that we're using here today is two Skyrider HPX Tor 5s, which admittedly are a bit too bright for this room, so I gotta turn them way down so you can see them on camera, and Pangolin's Quick Show. One of the great things about Quick Show is that it's actually super straightforward in order to go ahead and do basic aerials, basic graphics, and countdown clocks are one of the basic graphics that they make incredibly simple. So what I'll do here is go to Create, New Clock. You'll see that there are a number of different options as far as clocks, analog, digital, digital countdown, vertical countdown, countdown from start. The option that you might think that you want is digital countdown. Uh, this is really handy if you're doing like a X number of days till Christmas thing or something like that on the side of your house. Uh, but for New Year's countdowns and things like that, it's not quite ideal. You'd think that, hey, I can just put midnight in here and it'll work great. And it will work great unless, of course, there's some form of hiccup in your event. The producer comes to you and says, okay, well, now we're going to start the 10 second countdown when you're really, you know, 12, 13 seconds off, something along those lines. So what I'll typically do is go to digital countdown from start. This is real cool. You can go ahead and set the size, position, character size, spacing. Uh, you can use these delimiters in order to do the little mark between hours, minutes, seconds, all that good stuff. We don't care about hours. We don't even care about minutes. We care about seconds, and to make it a little more interesting, we care about milliseconds here. To make the uh, video a little shorter, we're going to go ahead and do a 30 second countdown. We can go ahead and set it to show on our projector, and it does. So now we've got our quick countdown queue. I can come down here to quick timeline, and we can go ahead and build ourselves a little, little bit of a show. So I'll go ahead and go to track properties. I'll make this track projector one. We're going to make this one projector two. You could run both of the elements that we're going to run here on a single projector, but it's going to be extremely flickery and not look nearly as good. I highly recommend using two projectors when you're ever you're mixing text and graphics and that kind of thing. So we're just going to take this and we will drop it down here. Now you'll see that this goes automatically all the way out to our 30 second mark. And then what happens when it hits zero seconds? Transition to the preview so you can see that. So all it does in this case is start over. What we actually want it to do is sort of hang on that zero so that we can do a little something further with it. So we'll go ahead and draw that out for an additional 15 seconds after our 30 second mark. That doesn't make this take 45 seconds, or it does make it take 45 seconds. It doesn't make it say 45 seconds. It still says 30 seconds to start, and you'll see as we get to the countdown here, once we hit zero, it's just going to sit at zero and hold there, which will allow us to do some nice stuff. And there we go. So if we want to add some visual interest to that, we'll go ahead and uh, add effect line. And we'll add two effects. We'll do one at plus 15 seconds down to zero seconds. And we'll do a second one at zero seconds to minus 10 seconds. For the sake of speed, I'm just going to steal these effects from the uh, quick, t quick Effects tab. Let's see, for the last 10 seconds, I think it would be pretty cool to go ahead and do a throb effect. So I'll just copy that effect. Come here to our timeline. And drop that in there. So now you can see our last 10 seconds is going to have a little bit of a bounce to it. I think we want more of a bounce to it. We'll have that be 75% to 100%. And we'll have that do it once per second, so we'll do it 10 times. I 
I didn't quite run this all the way out to 20 seconds. There we go. Okay, so our zero effect, once we hit zero, we're at full size. Let's go ahead and have that do a cool little celebratory ripple. The ripple effect is my favorite effect with analog projectors. It's really a lot of, really, really pretty. Copy that. There we go. And now we've got that cool ripple effect built in there. Okay, so now for the second one, the second projector, we're going to want something with a little bit of visual interest. We'll go ahead and uh, grab something off of the abstracts page. Some folks will do like a ball and have it drop across the uh, x axis, I'm sorry, across the y axis in time with that 10 seconds. Uh, that's a really cool effect, it's just not one that we have the physical space to do right in this room. So we're going to take this effect and draw it out all the way down to our 30 second mark. And to add some visual interest to that, we'll make it do a zoom too. We can just copy this event from up here paste it down here, move it into place, and we'll go ahead and modify this. We'll have it still be at 75, but we'll have it blow way out. We'll have it go out to 125. So now you'll see the preview. Bit more interest to it. Then what happens at zero seconds? Well, one thing I love to do at zero seconds, you can go ahead and put in the text for Happy New Year's just by coming over here to Quick Text. And then this uh, perspective scroll, or let's see, there's one where it goes around. There we go. Hill's Path is a pretty traditional one. That works out pretty well. But in this particular case, I don't think I'm going to do text, although a lot of folks like to. What I like to do is go to the Celebration tab and grab Fireworks 4 here. This one looks great in the air and on the wall. And I'll drag and drop that in there. So now we've built our little show. I can drag and drop it into an empty queue. In the queue properties, I can tell it to play once and stop, or I can tell it to just uh, keep looping, which we're going to do for the purposes of the demo here. So now I transition into this, and we've got our countdown. Happy New Year! So you can see it's real simple to make a basic countdown. You can juice this up a lot more. You can put a lot more content in here, a lot more transitions, a lot more effects. But if all you're trying to do is the quick and dirty countdown with lasers, this is, this is it. You can do it in less than five minutes uh, and end up with a pretty cool effect. Thanks very much. Have a great night.